Sweller. I'm an Emeritus Professor of Educational Psychology in the School of Education at the University of New South Wales. I've been an Emeritus Professor here for about 10 years. I arrived here as a lecturer in 1974 and have stayed here ever since. I stayed here for such a long time because it's been such a great place to carry out my teaching and research. So what have I been researching for all those years? Back in the 1980s, I began work on a theory called cognitive load theory, which is an instructional theory based on our knowledge of human cognitive architecture. By cognitive architecture, I mean our cognitive structures and functions that allow us to learn and to think and to solve problems. When learning and thinking, we process information in working memory before storing what has been learned in long-term memory. Working memory is very limited in capacity and duration. That means we can only process a small amount of information at a time and only hold information in working memory for a few seconds. Instruction that ignores those characteristics of working memory is going to be deficient. So, cognitive load theory is used to devise instructional procedures that align with the characteristics of working memory. Once a new procedure is devised, we test it out by comparing it to traditional procedures. As an example, we use the theory to hypothesize that showing students how to solve problems would be better than having them attempt to solve the problems themselves. We then compared the two procedures and found that studying an example solution did indeed result in better learning than attempting to solve the same procedure oneself. A result contrary to many educational recommendations. There are many other instructional techniques based on cognitive load theory that we and many other researchers around the world have devised over the years. Currently, we're looking at procedures for simplifying very complex information that students find difficulty understanding. We're constantly devising new techniques and always welcome people who wish to join us in our research. Mm -hmm.